Hi guys, this is Kest. Welcome to our channel here, the Simian Line Life, I guess. I've been doing a lot of videos, some outside, some inside. I think it's time to just share with you guys some of the things that happened this year in order for you to understand some of my dilemmas, if you want. This was 2017, the year where I call I had my awakening. It's not that I was asleep, it's just that life really hit me in a way that I had to just see it or just go with the flow and probably I would be a different sort of person at this moment. I'm not gonna tell you, like I said, my timeline of jobs, but I, oh, I studied arts. I've done some artistic, my first artistic project was for a neighborhood called Moraria. We do, I was really young, I was probably 18, I guess, before I went to study fashion design, because I'm a fashion designer as well. I never put it to work, let's put it this way, but I was there for four years. I studied fashions. My interest is, interests are so diverse because I like art because I studied it. So I tried, I, I really enjoy plastic art. Do you say plastic art? Because I like clay and I like wood. I like iron. I like you know, those materials, I like plastics, I like re recycling, I like all sort of the UI sort of market steward thing. I also, obviously as an art student, I, I tried with oils and acrylics and watercolors and pencils and well, so many products, so many things in the artistic world that I was really lucky to have a teacher and I don't know if one day she will know this, but uh, she, she was, her name is Carla Isidro. She was a painter. I don't know what she's doing right now. I know that we're together on Facebook, but we don't really share that much, I guess, about our personal lives there. She was, oh my God, I cannot explain you the the huge difference that woman made on my life because she made me not only pursued arts but she made me see it as a free vehicle so yeah so I studied arts then after that I went to study fashion design in fashion design I had good experiences but that's when my father passed away so do I need to tell you more guys I was 16 to 17 so at those moments life are is so you know so i stayed there for four years i never put on real life anything that i've learned i know that i had i'm doing this to my ear they say we're lying when we do this but i'm not i had a lot of chances to do i met designers while i was studying there I did a couple of small projects there and with success, so I was quite happy, but I was not prepared for what's going to come and especially in the world being as so volatile as fashion is. And I was, like I said, quite hyper and had a lot of energy and I was eager to put my work and on paper on doing things, but life didn't want me to do that. And I understand that there I go again, I'm lying. In my case, I believe that life didn't allow me that because I would lose myself. And I totally am fully aware of that. I would clearly lose myself if I had success when I was young. Let me explain you this. Because not that I, I had a huge egocentric per I was I wasn't a huge egocentric person because my heart is very simple. But my ego is... Well, it is a little bit, yeah, still. I needed the applause to confirm me my talent, if that makes any sense for you guys. I ended up in that moment leaving. I had my first job. Uh, I worked in the, f my father used to work in the first company that introduced computers. We passed from those simple machines that just do math to computers and that was his company. His company was really well known in Lisbon mainly, but in Portugal, but in Lisbon mainly it was really well known. And I went there to work because I had a chance by being his son and of having that sort of easy path. So I went there, that was my first, you know, true 
work experience in real world. I was assistant of the director, so it was really nice and I learned a lot. Oh my god, I did so many things. I worked in coffees, in restaurants, in a paper shop. I want to share with you guys so many things. Where have I worked? So many places, but I mainly, well, I had my own shop. At some point I had a shop for a year. It was a really interesting project that I created it was a fuse between it was a sort of a pet shop but with no pets because i don't i don't find that should be legal to sell pets in shops but i had furniture that was exclusive from bali india japan china so i had sort of a fused uh, concept and i had it for a year i created the first lgbt radio in portugal i'm also very proud of that it was called radio ponto g you can still see uh, on youtube videos of the radio and me interviewing people and things like that so i had that was a portuguese company that i had for two years with success and i still have it but it's not really doing anything at the moment it doesn't mean that it's not gonna appear again but at the moment she's sort of asleep because i need i have a lot of my plate right now well let me go backwards a little bit I have a friend, at that moment I was studying at night, before fashion, I was studying at night and we were taking uh, photography classes. I took a photography course, I did a photography three-year course at night. I had a friend, his name was the same as mine, he used to do uh, the, um, the boards I don't know how to, you know, those sort of, it's not a billboard, but it's those posters, if you want. He used to do the posters for movies in here in Portugal. So he used to do the adaptations and so forth for a really well-known uh, company uh, in Portugal. In those classes of photography, we used computer a lot, obviously, because uh, digital was being introduced to the world. So we passed from reflex machines, which was the ones that we used to change objectives and so forth, to the digital ones. So computers were a necessary material. I was so lucky. I I saw him once, and, I, and this is totally true. If Paulo, if you're hearing me, you can confirm it. I saw him once and I tell I told him this. Listen, you cannot imagine the tools you gave me for the rest of my life. Because he teached me over those classes on photography how to manipulate images, Photoshop. And he was such an expert and talented artist that I, I was an artist, but I wasn't really that techie guy. I liked technology, but I wasn't really functioning with it. You know what I mean? It was in the beginning, guys. I started working with Photoshop and then my palette of choices just opened up. So I, I came from arts, doing fashion, and suddenly I have the graphics on my hands as well. That's when I started working, creating logos, websites, banners, all those things. And I was in, in such a... I was such a fanatic about it like I like all semen liners I was so in love with my options that I consumed everything around it so I became good at it I remember there was people there were people that were professionals on that area that studied fully that area and they weren't as requested as I was even in fashion it helped me a lot because of the, you know the, the the drawings we do and how computers interact with fashion nowadays and i was sort of in that pioneer moment in in fashion and in life by crossing over from to computers so yes i had the shop i had the radio on the radio I, I used to edit the videos take pictures oh my god i love it it was insane but i used to love it a lot and so you can see i worked in a hospital i worked with a guy that had a restaurant a vegetarian restaurant I worked for him for two years guys and he was a singer as well so when I met these guys this is so funny I cannot really tell you everything but trust me this is totally true I met these guys because I had a friend and he started dating a guy this guy was quite older much older than him at least not that much 20 something years I believe or something like that he had a vegetarian restaurant but he was also a singer on that that moment I start working for him because he needed a person to do my job which 
it was I took pictures for him to take on the on TV and I used to every night work on the computer by just grabbing the data while he sang so I was sort of a technician sound technician if you want for him as a musician it was included on my payment on my paycheck that I can eat on the restaurant every day I wouldn't say free but it was part of my paycheck so for two years I met on the vegetarian restaurant of my friend he became a friend of course he he knew my family and everything and I will talk about this situation by itself because people are surprises and trust me it's an amazing story so I worked for him as a technician I used to eat there and therefore I met all kinds of people in this place you cannot imagine how many sort of people I met from Reiki from florals from spiritism from I don't know what to call it so there was so many people around this subject this guy that I worked for and this is the tricky part that I have to speak in another video used to tell people that he was a doctor so here's the cutoff part this changes everything but I'm not talking about this I met all these people there on that restaurant and I learned how to cook all vegetarian food and I know how to cook all the kinds of you know seitan and tofu and bulgur and quinoa and well you name it I'm glad that all my experiences got me here and I had such a vast range of trials and errors and people who just helped me even without knowing they were giving me some tools at some point I, I was sort of young and I said to myself well I need to find a job that is quite steady I want to be have a more steady life instead of just jumping around doing this and the other and projects and because I was quite tired of it so I decided to start working in companies relating to marketing I was a marketing director and, and communications in two companies where I in one of them it was amazing because I had the opportunity to bring the company from the ground up with my boss I built whatever everything there related to the image so I built the studio the photography studio because you used to have open calls for models and so forth to apply for jobs on TV or things that they needed extras and things like that yes I had those chances on working for these companies relating with, related to marketing and image I was a image and marketing director here's where we got here to this point I don't want to be a really huge video I'm pretty sure there will be some things out of it that I'm not recalling. It doesn't matter. I will do I will do more videos and these are things that I don't want to keep a secret. It's not something that I want to take to the grave. I just want to share why in some processes I sort of decided to end everything. This is the, not scary, but and when I mean end everything, I mean this is where I decided to stop the cycle I was doing and I'll tell you why so here's the thing I at some point I accepted to work for a real estate an investment and in real estate com company in Portugal I never worked well I did I had a small and brief experiences with, with real estate I loved it but it was just a brief moment just to I was without work I needed work I grabbed it I used it and then I left because it wasn't really my calling my calling is art or fashion or something more plastic if you want but obviously you can see my contents are not just I'm not a frivolous guy I'm not a blonde can so yes I started working in uh, investment and real estate mediation and investment and real estate and real estate company this is where everything started to change and me not noticing so I went there because I have a friend that told me Oh, contact this company because I think that they are hiring because I have a friend that works there and that's how it started I went there I did an interview the girl explained to me listen I just put your CV down there I didn't say anything because the boss is not really someone that you can do that so I just put it you there I know for a fact that he's gonna see it okay so when I went there to the interview she said to me at the end oh he liked you a lot so he will see you again and talk to you again so you can you can return to a second interview and I said okay no problem in the second interview he asked me to take a small study of where I th thought that it could improve there and it worked and I did the study free and he read it and he said okay you can work here so I'm not gonna make this a long story I don't want to just extend the thing that 
shouldn't be extended. So I start working there. First month, everything okay. I didn't really realize anything weird. Second month, I thought, okay, it's not normal that they don't ask me for my details because obviously I need a contract. Weird, no? When you start working in Sunday, no one tells you anything and it even becomes uncomfortable for you if you ask anything. But I'm not a quiet guy or a quiet mouth and I did. So I questioned and I said, how about the contract? Because I want to know the details and this and that. And he says to me, this is a 75-year-old man, Portuguese, that walks around Lisbon a lot looking for real estate. Let me explain the, the character. He sits in a leather chair. The furniture is all dark wood, have a huge Christ on the back, sculpted in wood, and wears a ring with a red stone, like if he graduated from law or something like that, you know what I mean? But it's a fake, because he doesn't have any degree. He's, he's really a piece of work. Listen, this guy, this man with 75 years old, is so insane and such a pig. I'm sorry the word, but that's what he is. He's a pig. Two months or something after I start working there, he's eating roasted chestnut in a small package like everyone knows that in Lisbon they're sold. And he enters the, the office, comes near me, starts talking, eating the roasted chestnuts. I, don't, I will never forget these guys. And he starts taking the the cover of the the chestnuts roasted the dark you know those those things he's eating it and while he does this to open them he just throws this he's talking to me like so what are you doing and sending the, those things to the floor and i'm on the computer sitting like this looking at him watching the things falling near me and i was like what the fuck? oh yeah i'm doing this and the other and he goes oh okay so that's a good job. And this is how I started. Well, there's something really wrong here. Two months, three months, every month for five months, I knocked this guy door and said, how about my contract? Because I don't have anything that can assure me some my, my safety. Oh, we're going to do. Don't you worry. It's just this period. It's a little complicated when we need to talk to the lawyers to create a specific contract. Because remember this, guys. I was a marketing director on this company. For you to be a marketing director, you have to be a proper wage and you have to have all those things accordingly to your function. And I didn't want to do that because I wasn't paid enough for the job I was doing. And I accepted it because I was eluded by the conversation that I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do your contract, don't you worry, we need to set the things up. And I spent five months. Obviously, five months later, I'm not stupid at that point to just go the full way. And I start understanding everything and how everyone there was as well, illegal like me. And the ones who were not illegal were working with him like for 30, 40 years, because this was really crazy, guys. And I'm talking about a company with three lawyers working there, things like this. So it was, I'm just astonished with what happened. But I'm so gullible that at some point I thought to myself, just keep going, he's 75, he's, he's just one of those that you need to just keep knocking the door. Because I liked my job because I was being creative, but I didn't enjoy the environment, I didn't enjoy the laws we're dealing with, not even him to be honest because like I said he was a pig and I don't like those sort of people this extended for a lot of time I've seen for for the two years that I worked there more than 100 persons entering working one month and leaving and I can assure you it's probably be around the hundred 2000 we're 2007 probably March or April no sooner sooner than that a colleague entered this job and I was already aware of everything. I was trying to prepare my exit by looking other things while I was working there because I couldn't just cross over because I'm an alone guy. I don't have people around me to sort of take care so of me at least or help me. I was working there and that colleague entered and we became good friends because she was sort of weak character. I don't know. You guys know what I mean? When we're when we're really strong, we see someone really weak or sad or something like that and we grab it on and we defend them and 
things like that so that's what happened she was older she had a daughter she said to me that she helps uh, homeless people that her house was in ruins she had a bad uh, relationship with the father and he used to beat her as you can see I was like okay poor woman let me just give her my help and you know semen lines always pass their energy so I did that oh my god so at some point she well she was introducing me things slowly and I was kind of eating them because I was sort of already eluded so she was working there on this company she was receiving a fund of unemployment she was also preparing on the unemployment employment with the unemployment fund to receive a major amount of money to create her own business because she was unemployed legally and she said to me oh and I was really so tired of that job I said to her listen I'm gonna complain about this I cannot live my life like this I will not accept this and if there's something or an institution or a place that I can just tell everything about seven I'm gonna do it and she asked me please don't do it because I need this in order to put my life on the on track well I'm not gonna extend much more than this I hold six months for her to put her life on track I gave her six months to just put her life on track and while we were doing those six months in the middle of it she says to me listen I'm gonna create this project and you're tired of this as well so how about you leave and we leave and we create our own thing and I said well that would be amazing and it's like Robin Hood so we'd be like we're working here but we are deceiving a major deceiver a major criminal so I waited she left she's starting doing all those things and when she left the job I think it was two or three days before uh, after that my boss was really angry and aggravated because everyone was leaving I was the only one of probably 30 people that remained there because uh, I wasn't really a real estate seller or you know I wasn't doing those sort of outside jobs I was inside the company doing the marketing and the design and communication so one day he starts talking to me in a really weird way and I, I said to myself okay so you're nagged you're pissed off because everyone left you without saying because she left him like everyone without saying from one day to the other and he was always afraid people would complain uh, to the police about him and things like that you can imagine the tension the pressure of leaving this sort of environment with a lot of people it's insane on that day he started talking to me in a really weird way he was like pissed off with me but it wasn't with me because I didn't have anything for him to just nag me but at some point I just said to him listen if you're not happy with me just tell me oh uh, so if you don't want to be here why don't you leave he said to me and I said you leave no 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 you have to pay me to leave because I need I I'm working here for a long time and he goes then leave he says and I said okay so I'm gonna call the police and I called the police so at some point I think it was April don't make me do the timeline guys it was this year it was in the beginning and sometimes I knock out the the, the times and the dates because I don't know why but it happens to me so yes I called the police this year to be paid what I was so I called the police the police went there he wasn't there he ran away when I said that the police entered the company identified a lot of my colleagues on the first floor I was working on the second and I said to him the day after listen you pay me you need to pay me where you owe me and this is over with me I don't want anything with you because listen guys we need to eat we need to pay our bills in order to survive I knew that my pressure moment was my pressure cooker was done I couldn't handle anymore and I needed to call the police otherwise I would go insane or things like that so I called the police this year so let's make a timeline it so I called the police this year I think maybe May so May I called the police on this year to exterminate my job there and I did it and the police gave me the reason and he paid me and he just disappeared out of my life thank God on that moment I thought okay this is a an awareness for you like don't accept these things don't do things that are against your will that you don't feel comfortable you know the pressure of people the pressure of society you need to work in all of those things obviously I left 
the job not much later one month later i had well not a friend i knew a colleague from that company that already left and said oh on my company they're needing a person and i went there not funny enough one after two years on that one one month later after i leave by myself another company calls me to work for them in the same area so as a marketing director once more i have a conversation with a much more younger guy this time was a probably 40 year old guy 42 two, 43 year old, dresses suits with jeans. We call it Saloyu, okay? He was a Saloyu. And I don't know how you say that in American. He was a person with a really bad taste and that liked to pretend to have a lot of money. And when he starts talking with me, he says to me, oh, I really need a person like you here. We see the, the work that you've done for the other company. Because guys, I made the other guy earn a lot of money because I updated his company to a level which he wasn't aware or a costume to. I remember putting his company receiving and answering people live online where no no company was doing this. He knew my value. So he says to me, I really need you, but our company is not as big and we're just starting. So what I'm going to ask you is, if you don't mind, we do a contract. And I was like, oh yes, a contract. I need a contract this time. I was really wishing that. Uh, he said to me, okay, we're going to do a contract. But the issue is that for you to earn the amount you should earn by having that category, we need to pay you a lot and the company doesn't have that. So what I'm going to ask you is, if you don't mind, we're going to do a contract based on a part-time, but you work the full-time and we pay the rest underneath the, the veil if you want. Like I said to you guys, I was so full of being misled by the other guy and I'm a guy that hates corruption and dishonesty trust me guys i hate all those things i cannot stand being near a person that is a corrupt or that has a nasty vibe i cannot i can't i just can't and he tells me that and instead of thinking he's a really piece of shit, I thought to myself, he's a really nice guy. He's just trying to put his uh, company up. We don't see the bad stuff. We see we are gullible. We are like big children because we don't have the maturity. That's why autism and this is so similar because we learn in, different, in a different pattern, I think. That's why it's always later. So I said yes again. I said yes this year. One month later, the vibe on the office, the illegal things that he was trying to do. For example, in less than a month, he asked me to do photos for a olive oil catalog and wines that he had this apparent, his father had an export, export company and he wanted me to do that. But that was included in the same area of the real estate that I was working. Working. So he was, we call it gypsies, he was like a gypsy. He, if he could fool himself, he would. For me, one month later, I quit and I left that job as well. Not to mention another thing, guys, please backtrack. I'm going to backtrack the story. After I left the two years real estate company, one month later, I end a two years relationship as well. So let me put this on, on your plate as I have in my, as I have in mind at that period. I'm working on a real estate company. I leave, call the police. I end the relationship. I went in another real estate company working as again as a marketing uh, director. One month later, I leave in July or August. Do you guys remember that colleague that I told that she was working in a lot of places and earning a lot of money to put his her life on track. So she says to me, listen, I'm going to do that project right now. I already have everything done. Do you want to enter this with me? And I said, okay. Ah, uh, guys. And I said, okay, what did I do for her? How about these guys? I assembled her entire company. I created her website and her forms. I even painted the walls of that shop that this big lady has. Probably one month before she legally opens, she said to me that she doesn't need me. And that's it. So I ended up this year experiencing all these things leaving a company calling the police because i was illegal no one had the courage to do it i ended the relationship well not that i ended but i sort of give the the knocking step because i wasn't really happy and i said listen we have to talk 
this cannot be like this and you know when this conversation happens things are not right obviously you have to overcome this because i i liked him and then i entered the other company where that guy made fool me out of me because he just paid me half what we agreed based on the legal thing because he wasn't really happy that i was kind of not enjoying the the process remember that i came from being deceived for a lot of times and in resume what i decided was this year what i had as an awakening moment is i will never work for someone illegal you may think that you're helping like i did and think okay you need a job he needs to pay less for him to survive as well and grow for to keep putting people like you so you never see the criminal part of it you see the let's help and i helped so many people so many people i was always let down because one thing that i really realized is that when you work with other people you will always get deception they're not you so i decided this year to start my own project whether we is on the spiritual on the fashion i'm starting a fashion line i will talk more in a proper video about it i decided to after all these years create my fashion line based on my knowledge not on my just visual choices i like knowledge as well so i apply the knowledge and I'll, i will explain to you guys what i'm doing and where's the knowledge in between i like photography as you guys know on instagram i would like to create my own sort of booklet about lisbon and with my photos and my sentences that i write i think it's a nice memorabilia if you want to just take it as a souvenir and i want it to be really cheap thing so i need to look really hard to find the proper platform to do some cheap thing instead of an amazing really expensive 100 dollars booklet and no one will buy it i'm doing my own projects i'm a youtuber as you know for a lot of time obviously i said in my videos that i really need your support i'm an artist you've seen how my jobs were this year this was terrible i need work obviously i need work and I know that no one can force me to do things illegal i know for a fact that i will pay the price of doing my own choices but that's why i'm opening with you guys because i don't want the system to crash me i want you guys to if you can support me i would like that because i need that for a fact not for me as my person but for what i create as an artist i would clearly need your support it, it's very important for an artist to have someone to say this is a nice thing i really like like it i'm not ready to pay something for it i want to do that photography fashion i dwelt in music a couple times i will tell you later a bit more but i don't have any projects for it at the moment on youtube yes to grow the channel is something really important for me obviously not only to meet other simian liners but to also make it enjoyable make it sort of a more newscast thing i will talk about the simian line where i am right now in another video after this one because i want to share something that i discovered with you so this was a really complicated year this christmas will be really different for me i will have a lot of things to think about i know one thing and i want you guys to know one thing i'm happier than i was when i was working for these people you have to understand this i'm a happier person i'm much more aware i'm much more awakened but i also have to think about my future if i want to continue to do artistic things like i'm creating the fashion line and i will show you all i want your support i need that support if you don't like you don't like i'm respectful of that no one has to serve the same cover you know what i mean i need to do a t-shirt saying you know what i mean or like i said on the real housewives so i hope you guys understand a little bit better how can for a simian liner life can be complicated in my life from the death of my father to my to an entire year full of these sort of events relating jobs and works you can imagine that i had a very diverse life and a lot of different experiences that built this person that is talking right now i'm a very experienced person in life but i'm very naive when it comes to some emotions i think this year was a big year for me the moment where everything connected and i start stop and said okay now it's my time to rule this is my life i'm sorry guys i'm not gonna say the bad word but i don't really give an f or what other people think if anyone 
anyone here connects with me that's fine and those who don't they can go their own way i'm not here to change anyone's mind i'm not here to find to please anyone's ego i'm here to share my life and those who come around they come and those who don't they don't i've been doing like this since i can remember i'm like this since a young boy maybe that's why i'm much more alone if you want i had to put a lot of people aside because i understand now that some people can not only bring you down but can change the course of your life and i don't want to give power to anyone relating my own uh, path i don't know why i say this all the time i hope you guys continue with me i hope you guys subscribe i know people know this but maybe it's how i see others do and i find that i have to do it as well they keep saying that we need to improve our channel and this and that to grow maybe it works maybe someone is out there just watching and when i say don't forget to subscribe to our notifications bell or don't forget to subscribe to the channel and probably oh okay maybe uh, don't take it personally or being annoyed by it it's just ways to be make people aware that we exist so i'll see you guys soon and i hope you're having a great week till then bye